That's what I get for trying to do something today. Got the old Great Plains spray hook back up. Already got some water running down into it. Already got our chemicals over here. We just gotta get set up, get ready to start mixing stuff. Might have us a minor setback this morning. So I got to looking over here, checking the air in my tires, and noticed a little bit of hydraulic fluid on the ground. Well, you get down here and look and you can see it all right there drip 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 i'm gonna say i got a holding line right there where it's touching the frame at that's gonna be my guess oh good thing i let the tractor run a while and get the hydraulic fluid getting hot Yep, that'll make it fun taking that thing off. Yeah, she's good and warm. Let's see, it goes back here, from right there. Knock it off. To up there. Hmm. Well, well, well. So it goes right in here. That means that's the main feed for the hydraulic pump. Yeah, that's a good one. And looks like our AC unit, our AC condenser slash hydraulic oil cooler has popped out of the track up here. So I have to put that back in. Hmm. Uh, yep. Day of fun, day of fun, 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 fun. We'll get her figured out. Well, I'm gonna make a run to the big shop. Get some more tools. I got the line broke loose back here. It's draining out into my bucket. I just can't get this broke off right down here. So I think I can take it off here, right here. But I gotta go get some crow foot wrenches because uh, I've changed that pump before, but I took off the fuel tank. And that is, that's a job. Yeah, that's a job to take that tank off. She's full of fuel right now. So we don't want to do that. Cause 100 gallons at nine pounds, yeah. That's 100 gallons at nine pounds a gallon. Be uh, 900 pounds. So I'm gonna get more tools and we'll be back in a minute. And we're back. Got my El Cheapo brand of uh, crowfoot wrenches. Looks like it's a one and a half, 21 half. Here's, see if we can get her stuck on here. Huh, that was funny. Darn thing's loose. Look at that. The darn thing was already loose. Oh, me. Tell you what. Of course, I did put that hydraulic pump in the spring of 20. 20 yeah so i probably need to check everything out on i bet I'm, i bet i got other things on here that are loose that are loose too didn't need to go get them crow foot wrenches of course i'll need them to put it back on come on there you go now you gotta come out of there we got her off Looks like, well, it's been braised once before. I would say it's been braised right there too. It looks like the braises wore out. Well, I did manage to get a new one ordered, but 
as a butt. It should be here Friday. Well, who knows? I've had parts ordered for Friday for the last three weeks. They still ain't showed up. That's a different story. We're back at it again today, folks. On the hydraulic line, the hard line. I tried to raise it. Horrible job. I never even tried to hook brakes to it. I did. I went and got a hydraulic line. working for right now I have ordered the, the correct hard line it may or may not be here this week who knows if we got the last things I made one we managed to get rain down here today too even after getting the line it rained on us so uh, didn't end up spraying nothing yesterday we're gonna give it a go today and see if we can't get done Rain a little bit this morning. Got everything situated on the tractor now. And it's not supposed to rain until I accept Miss Ethan. Figured I'd try to, try to uh, get some of this over the top of the corn spraying on. That's the things we planted just a few weeks ago. They're up. That's good. They're getting pretty hairy, so that ain't, that ain't exactly good. And all the hay needs to be cut. We are coming up on a Memorial Day weekend. That's that's this done weekend. And like all that, we'll be uh, we'll be doing much enough to be working. Be full blast cutting hay and spraying. We and Dad's talked about it. What we're gonna do on spraying to get stuff caught up. I'm gonna be hitting big fields with big sprayer. He's going to get his little spur out and do the little fields. We're going to try to get a good bit of ground covered in the next, in the next several days. Not the rain. But we need the rain, of course, like to get it. Because I did have some of these beans I had planted right here. It's getting really hairy. It, need, it needs to spray bad. But some of those beans over there are just now sprouting. They were planted in some spots that were probably just a little bit hard and it didn't get down into the moisture level from where the moisture was at, so they hadn't come up yet. And some spots are like a spot up here, they're probably drowning out. You see the water up there. Them beans are probably drowning down. But it's a small spot, I won't even worry about coming back and replant now. It might be going to try to rain on us. I can sit up here and check radar again. I knew it took a gamble when I left her up. Yeah, hopefully I can get the spray. Might have made the wrong call there for you. It happens. Eventually we'll spray this corner. <laughs> That's what I get for trying to do something today. So this will be spraying corn over the top attempt number two. Welcome back to Midtown, y'all. You know what they say? Third time's a charm. We're gonna try to spray today. We went down to the field one day, got rained out. And I'll start that back. The first day we tried to spray, had the hydraulic line on the tractor break. Ordered it. It was a hard line. That's still I come in. But I'm glad I had a, a hydraulic hose made for her. And it's working for right now. But it is a holiday weekend, you know, we're coming up on the floor today. So uh, I don't know how far we'll get. More blows we can't do nothing. But we're gonna try. Said, yeah, once we got to fix it, rain on us. So we couldn't spray that day. Then the next day, we filled the, we filled the spray up, went down to the field, and it was raining when we got there. It started raining when we got there. Go back then. And so it was the third day. 
I'm going to try to do it today. And hopefully we can get something done. I got a good feeling that we're going to get stuff accomplished today. But what we're going to do first is we're running to a different farm that we got right now done. We're going to go over this other farm. This farm has the beehives. I was able to get a hold of the landowner and ask him if I could come and spray. And he's like, yeah, I'm going to shut the bees up. Y'all come on. So we're heading that way. And maybe we should not get about two hours. It's farming. No matter how much planning you do, it ain't going to go up. You can go as you plan. I guarantee you that much. It's a fun part of spraying the tractor. We're going to run a good bit of it over. It's going to happen. So, uh, you just, just try not to worry about it too much. She's soft over here. looking pretty good now this is corn behind corn so it looks pretty good for that no kill corn behind corn Got rained out of twice. Already got some of it sprayed. So I got way up there, down here. I got man rows all the way around the field. I got them done. So I've got, I got about had the field knocked out so far. We finished a farm, which is way across the field, other side of the trees, about a mile straight through there. But it's like three, four mile by the road. Can't remember. We got that done this morning. Got moved back over here. Uh, probably should have started here this morning and it went over there. Because that had some pretty good wet spots in it. Now it's got ruts. Yeah, you know, something to fall. This ruts out. So we're going to get, get whacking at her again. I'll tell y'all this. So, um, spray I'm running, Great Plains, thousand gallons. Yeah, it's Great Plains. Thousand gallon, six foot booms. And, uh, I don't know if y'all can see it, but you can see my road marker right off the hood. So, what I'm doing is I'm riding down 12 rows. I'm in the center of 12, and then I'm spraying. Six rows of the 12 pass on that way, and I'm spraying six rows of 12 pass on this side. When I get down to the other end of the field and make my turn, I'll turn out and I'll skip 24 rows and turn back in onto my onto a row marker. Well, back onto my, my fork on one. So I'll spray 24, and I'll turn it back in on 24. We've got a good bit covered so far. We're getting close to the hay. A little green trees out there. Looks at the end of the field. They're starting way back up yonder. We parked our way down. There. Right here. We there. So we're getting closer to being done. And uh, so I'm up on a hill right up here. It's on a hill. Hill. Kind of feathers like this. That's how the hill goes. It's all bottom. Surprisingly, this hilltop is wetter than the bottom is. And we've gotten 
what, three, four inches of rain in the last four days. Maybe close to five inches of rain. We got pretty good bit of rain. And Jesse, he should be, uh, he should be over here cutting hay. But I think he's actually on the other side of the trees over there. He's cut the hay that's right here. So he's probably out in front on the other side of that big grove of trees. I got him cutting hay, I'm spraying. I'm spraying over here, and uh, Big Don's up towards his house spraying small fields. So I got this to finish. And I got three little fields around Jesse's to spray. Then I'm moving up to Don's and spraying a big field up there. And we're just going to keep on rolling. I mean, it is just now 15 till 1. We got sprayed about 9, and we probably covered, oh, 60, 70 acres this morning. Yeah, we've covered a good bit of ground. Sometimes the old float valve floats out. Looks like she floated out on me. Well, I've only been gone for like three hours. Surely haven't run two, three thousand gallons of water out. All right. <sighs> Good deal. That's what you want. Turn this water off. Just have to remember to turn it back on when I get back. Oh yeah, we made a river. I'll show you. It's funny. Saw the water flowing right through there. Yep, made the cap one flood again. So the float valve works about 80% of the time. That's one of the 20s. But look at there, weight's starting to go up. Looking good. Get the golden top starting to fire up from the top down. Still got some green, a lot of green stem. We're thinking we'll be in that in like two weeks, maybe three. Hopefully two. See my spur tracks. And I finally got my nose cones in for the grain table. Like everything else, they was on back order for a while, but they finally came. Did I, did I get them at the fall price? Nope, nope. Got them at the new spring price, which, which is fine. I need them, and I understand. And I understand that things cost, cost a heck of a lot more than them right now. And they were. I'm just glad to finally have them in. Because I did try some used. Well, A used metal nose cone. It was going to be what they, I can't even remember what they priced on that darn thing. It was half the price or a little over half the price. Yeah, one one metal one was going to be like $900, which is a little over half of what the new ones was called, cost. The, the new long short combo poly and metal you know i mentioned earlier that it was Memorial day weekend and today is saturday that's when i was shooting this you know i'm spraying this is cutting hay dad's also spraying I'm trying to get a lot of things done trying to get caught up so maybe we can take a little bit of time and my time off of my day may or may not get to do that you know it just all depends on how things go but y'all should be seeing this Monday on the morning day. 
And, you know, just, just take a minute to, uh, to think about our uh, young men and women that uh, paid the uh, ultimate price for our freedom. If they ain't, uh, they ain't here no more, but we are. So uh, we need to try to live our life to the fullest for those that came. And remember those that we lost. You know, take time to explain to your children what you're doing. It, it ain't just about going to the river and uh, seeing how many beers you can drink or going down to the beach and seeing how many beers you can drink. You know, it's way more, way more important things than that. So uh, just take time to remember while everybody gets Monday off. So we're gonna start up here. Well, that looks like we got a tree fell out in the field. in the field. If you look up here, right about, I think right about, what did we say? Right about here, it's where it broke off with. Yeah. Don't let it broke off with right there. That'll just get to be there for the rest of the year. So we don't get back at her. And this little buddy to go knock down. Like on to the next one. Right there, that's where we did some logging down. There's a gap right there that we cut a, dry, a driveway from the top of the bottom of the drag logs. But we, let, we logged the whole strip of this woods. And you can still tell there's plenty of trees in there and all the roads. Right, destination number three. Yeah. So the third farm for the day would be one, two, three, four, five, six. This will be the seventh field we spray today. Don't know if we'll get it all done today, but we will get a good bit of it knocked out. So right at four. But we're gonna give it all. You can see right up on the hill, right there. Grass is coming in pretty fierce like. We're about to kick it in the butt though. farm done. We go way down there, all up on the hill. 
ground. Got her sprayed. It's uh, it's about six thirty, so two and a half hours. That's about right. We got about a hundred gallons left, so everything sprayed out just like it should have. Good deal. Made it back up to the main farm here. I think it's gonna be a good spot to stop for tonight. It is getting close to seven. And I don't have uh, the water trailer over here yet. So I need to go get that. Mm -hmm. Seat's letting down. So I need to go get that. And uh, we'll go from there. So, appreciate y'all being along. You know, if you liked it, feel free to like and subscribe to the channel. And remember, Memorial Day is more about just uh, having a good time, folks. That is a bigger, bigger picture. And like always, the good Lord's willing, we'll catch you on the flip side. Till the next. <laughs>